thank for all our folding chairs this evening. So please remember for all your folding chair needs, Brett North. Next up we have Mrs. Betty Nolan. Thank God Tom could fill in at the last minute. Why did Carlos have to back out? Some work emergency, he wouldn't talk about it. Sometimes I could just kill him. Well, look on the bright side, Tom's having the time of his life. Hands off, fellas. Oh, no I guess he does sort of have a dorky charm. Okay. You're first, followed by Lynette, okay. uh, and then Edie. Edie. Where's Edie Britt? Here. Edie, what did you do to that dress? Well, I made it audience friendly. Can you tell I'm not wearing any underwear? Yes. Good. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. You should never take this dress off for your entire life. <laughs> really? Oh. I look okay? Oh, Susan, you look so gorgeous. Doesn't she, Edie? <sighs> eh, it's a bit much. Gabrielle, you have to change the lineup. Susan has to go last. Nothing is going to top this. Oh, no, isn't Helen Rowland going last? Well, she never showed up. Somebody's got to take her place. No, I think that's a great idea. Okay, let's go. You really do look fantastic. Next up, we have Mrs. Bree Van in a pink party dress with laser cut, full skirt, and silk belt. And here's another exquisite ball gown by Austin, modeled by the devastatingly sexy Lynette Scotto. Notice the fine detail, the clean lines. The dress is nice, too. Next up, please welcome Edie Brett. Edie Brett. Please tell Gabrielle I'm sorry I'm backed out of the show. I'm just not in a very festive mood right now. Helen, how are you here? Did they tell you about the change in lineup? I'm going to go last. I hope that's okay. There's a special place in hell for people like you. Sorry, it wasn't my decision. You're an adult. Take some responsibility. What is wrong with you? He is wearing a dignified classic, perfect for a Sunday tea or christening. Your hands off my son. What? And uh, finally, to cap off our evening, on, you're please right. welcome oh, the Raven, Susan Meyer. Tom, say something. A vision in white silk, chiffon with gold. And beaded French lace and lavender marabou. <laughs> Susan Bach. You're going to find Helen Rowland and you're going to tell her the truth before everyone in this neighborhood thinks that I'm the one sleeping with an underage boy. I can't do that. Why not? Because she'll tell Carlos and he'll divorce me? So what? You obviously don't love him. I do love him. I, I do. It's just complicated. You know, there, there's, there's got to be another way to fix this. God, you are so weak. Susan, don't be like this. What did you expect? A hug? 